like I stuck it. Walk it like I stuck it. Walk it, walk it like I stuck it. Walk it like I stuck it. You walk it like I stuck it. Walk it like I stuck it. Walk it, walk it like I stuck it. Walk it like I stuck it. Hey, walk it like I. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on breaches and sweats. This video is probably one of the most requested videos I get asked to film. So this week I'll be showing you guys how I packed the Hampton Classic. So I'm going to take you back into time and show you how I packed for not only myself, but also for Lex. What's in Liv's trunk? <laughs> okay, but I just need to like show what's really quick here. Okay, okay. So this is Liv's trunk. It is a Stanley trunk. Um, super aesthetic. Um, and then up here has like her personal okay. kind of like. But yeah, and then down here is all of her time. Okay. Stuff. Can you put like a filter on when you do that? <laughs> and like slow-mo. Okay, this is my trunk. Um, like they said, I have a Stanley trunk. It's just a plastic one. It makes it really easy to transfer. I have a tray on the top, which I absolutely adore. So in it, I have a hat because obviously in the summer, helmet hair, protecting your face, all that. Then I have Tums. Um, extra gloves, these are typically like hacking gloves, um, my infused equestrian noggin spray, um, my boot brush for my tall boots, and then my boot cleaning kit. I have my bike charger, and then I have these re reinforcement labels, which I use on my number, if because sometimes they'll rip and it makes it really easy to put them back together. Um, and then a salt lick, because Lux loves his salt licks. And then in this back, I have my uh, EAP towel, which I use as a boot brush. Some sunscreen, obviously. Um, I burn so easily, so I like to have sunscreen always. Um, a Sharpie, a pen, Aquaphor, and hand sanitizer. Just like these are the essentials to me to have. And then I have Lux's show boots, my show gloves, and then um, baby wipes. Um, so that in between rides or something, the sweat, I can get the sweat off of his face or dirt off of me um, and then it doesn't burn his skin. Taking that down, this is what the inside of my trunk looks like. So I have my tall boots, these are my show boots, I forgot boot trees but I'll bring those tomorrow. Then I have my helmet, again forgot my helmet bag but I'll bring those tomorrow. I have my hairnet, um, my spurs and then I'll put my gloves in here as well. And then I have two sets of wraps back here. So I have four 12 wraps and four 14 reps. Um, and then I also have my crop here. I really only use this when I hack um, or lesson. And then if I take the boots out, I have his show halter and then his schooling bridle and show bridle and martingale. Below that, I have his show girth and then the girth insert. Below that, I have his jammies for when he gets braided. And then I have my fancy dancy bit box down there. And then I have my bag of standing wraps here. And then on the left here, I have my favorite treats, Uncle Jimmy's Squeezy Buns. These are my favorite because they come prepackaged, so it's really easy to grab and bring them down to the show ring or throw them in my bag or something. And then I have patty cakes, and I really like these because they have the little mints inside, so it's a nice little treat for Lux, and Luxie loves these. Below that, I have my show pad, Grim, and a ring sheet down there. And then right here, I have his fake tail. Um, in this little bag here. This is everything that I pack in my trunk. The horses leave tomorrow morning uh, and I will meet them there. But yeah, it's everything. And I forgot to mention that the saddles are there too. They're obviously getting packed. Say hi. And then for Lexi, his shipping halter and at home halter is there. Oh, we want a cookie. I'll give you a cookie, okay? I'll give you a cookie. Hello, everyone. So it is 6.25. And I got home from the barn like about an hour ago. And right now I'm gonna pack up myself. Usually I don't leave um, packing for myself to the night before, but I've been crazy busy with SATs and getting back to school and all that. So I kind of put packing aside. So I leave tomorrow morning, very, very early tomorrow morning. And I'm gone at the horse show for about a week. So for me, I'm gonna plan to bring probably like four shirts. Um, that can be interchangeable. So if we do go out to dinner that I have options other than riding clothes, but typically what ends up happening is either I wear my riding clothes to dinner or I'm too tired to even go out. So, and a pair of regular denim jeans and a pair of white jeans. 
um, and then obviously all the rest of my horse show stuff. So what I do first is pick out any clothes that I even remotely want to bring and then I'll kind of sort through them at the end and figure out which shirts and clothes I definitely want to bring. And I'm in a different outfit because I have a lot of clothes that I need to wash. So I'm actually gonna go get a bunch of stuff washed, including a bunch of little shirts, socks, and my breeches. Um, so I'm gonna get those all washed so that they're fully ready um, before I go to bed tonight. So while everything is getting washed, um, I have to kind of put a hold on my packing since a lot of the stuff I need to pack are in the wash. I thought I'd take this time to pack up my backpack. So I use the Malort backpack. I absolutely adore this backpack. I'm taking this everywhere with me. I took it on a plane. Um, I take it in car rides. I think it's a great bag. Um, and on this bag, I have two very special things. Um, I have the Bridge and Sweats keychain. Um, this is limited edition and um there are only special occasions where people can get this the other side of my bag i have my amazing pop pony collective keychain of lexi um it's so gorgeous and so perfect and it just gives my bag a little bit more of a personal feel and you know i always have my lexi with me and i guess we can start with the big the big pack school started for me about a week ago so i need some school supplies i am making sure that i have every material that i might need to be printed printed I don't do well when I can only read things digitally. I like to have, especially like short stories or essays that I need to analyze, I like to have a physical copy. Next up is my pencil pouch and in here, I just have the pens and um, pencils that relate to my specific class. Next up, this is my charging pouch. Obviously, because I have to charge things so much tonight, I'm not going to be packing this yet. I have my horsemanship notebook. Um, I like to take a bunch of different notes regarding anything I learn horsemanship wise so that when I prepare for say the New England horsemanship quiz that I feel ready and I feel like I have as much information in my brain as possible. So I always like to keep this plus if I ever learn anything new or need to address something, uh, I always have it with me. Next, I'm going to be packing this little pouch. This is going to have little things like my eye mask, uh, my gum, stuff like that. So next is this big kit. This is actually what is supposed to be in my, since my dad's car, but because it has so many of the necessities that I'd like to take and what I put in the car were meant for me, basically, I decided to just take it for this week. In this compartment here, my portable charger, my phone pouch that I attached to my belt. Um, I like to keep this somewhere where i know i put it because i can lose this thing so fast and it is my favorite thing on earth that is basically what i have in my bag so far hello you are now in my bathroom and i'm going to be preparing as much as i can the products that i want to take and see how much i can get in my dop kit my plan is to move a lot of stuff into different travel containers because it just makes it easier i found um, and then I don't have to lug around multiple dop kits as I used to. So I'm going to see how much I can get done now. <laughs> Okay, that is basically all I can do for now because obviously I need to use a lot of these products. Basically all I can do in my bathroom for now. Okay, now that I have everything set up, I'm gonna kind of take you through a little bit of what I have. So I have two sweatpants and then technically three sweatshirts. These would be one um, like to dinner or something. And then this is like to sleep in or like be at home. Then I have a bunch of different shirts to have options. Three pants, socks, Region sweat socks, <laughs> um, belt, Lulu shirts, my Equiline colored breeches, then um, like shorts and a t-shirt, three showing breeches, three showing shirts, and then different jackets and sweaters. Is this maybe a little too much? Possibly. Do I really care? Not at all. I've obviously showered, 
But what I like to do is put all of this stuff in packing cubes. It makes it so much easier. And then, especially for when I get to the destination, it's really nice to kind of know where everything is and have everything separated into their own pile so that I don't go reaching for something and destroy my piles that I made in my suitcase because it's very annoying. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's laughing.